What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast No Plus. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to do something a little bit different. You know, every month, games come and go to PS Plus and Game Pass. And, you know, I was checking the news this morning, and I saw, oh, man, PS Plus, there's some big games leaving it. And I thought, oh, shoot, there's some big games leaving Game Pass as well. So I thought this would kind of make for a fun video. Let's go through the games that are leaving both of these platforms, and then we'll talk, you know, a little bit about it. This is a negative to, like, the game subscription services, you know, for these platforms uh, it kind of is what it is but we'll talk about that a little bit more as we go okay so and they kind of have something different like there's only one game to me that stands out that's actually uh both of them um but we'll start with game pass so game pass is losing gotham knights let's build a zoo loop hero my time at portia paw patrol grand prix phoenix Wright, ace attorney trilogy valheim and then this warhammer 40k dark tide it was actually you know swapped that it was on there but there was like a mistake so that's not actually included the Walking Dead, um, the complete first season, and then The Walking Dead Season 2. So just taking a second to talk about these games, I mean, the bigger ones to me, like Gotham Knights is definitely notable, and Gotham Knights is the game that's actually on both. So you're losing uh, Gotham Knights when it comes to PS Plus as well. That's a, I don't know if it's like a big blow. I mean, look, it's two years. It's been two years since Gotham Knights has come out. Like, you either got it or you didn't get it. But I think it was actually kind of nice that it was on these subscription services for as long as it was. Clearly, it's got to be some sort of contract thing with WB, right? Because they're it's leaving both of these platforms the same month. So it's got to have been like they signed like a one-year contract or whatever it might have been. Uh, so that one's pretty darn big. I mean, that might be the biggest. Well, The Walking Dead, maybe in like terms of lifetime. Valheim, though. Valheim is a pretty big game. I've never actually played it, but I, I know of it. So I would say that's a big one. You know, Phoenix Wright, that kind of sucks. I've always wanted to play Phoenix Wright games. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, um, but losing that kind of sucks and then walking dead uh season one and season two i guess only on windows i don't know if those were originally i don't know if that means that they're still on for xbox or if they were never on game pass in the first place i mean i own all of those games anyway Th those ones don't hurt and even gotham knights like i actually own it so it doesn't do too much to me but i just thought wow you know walking dead that's a pretty big one gotham knights is a big one valheim is a big one maybe not for me but maybe like the general public and then you go over to ps plus and this one this one actually hurts a little bit more and this one's actually more confusing so ultra street fighter 4 little big planet 3 dragon quest builders dragon quest builders 2 dragon quest 11 dragon quest heroes gotham knight twicked and kiwami hopefully i said that first uh, name right if not you guys can correct me in the comments and the evil within now Gotham Knights, again, big. Dragon Quest, they're wiping out like a sizable chunk of the franchise. So there's two that I want to talk about. We'll start with Evil Within just because it's kind of a fun little story. But I want to rant a little bit about Little Big Planet 3. That makes me mad. So Evil Within, funny enough, I'm actually playing that literally right now. I mean, I guess that's the funny story. Uh, the game turns, I believe, 10 years old this year. I wanted to do it for Back to the Past, my third channel. Um, and I'm, I'm half, actually, no, I'm on chapter 10 of 15. So I'm almost there. I plan to beat it maybe like thursday friday so i should be able to beat it before it's removed but thank god because i thought i owned it turns out i actually own the second game physically but i don't own the first game so this actually came in clutch because i went to ps plus first and there it was so i don't know if it's on game pass i mean maybe it should be because of the developer but i i haven't looked um i just kind of found that funny okay then when it comes to little big plan i just want to say something why is it right because a few like was it a month or two months ago we lost horizon forbidden west right horizon forbidden west was on it on um, ps plus and it was taken down and now little big planet 3 these are games that are owned by playstation so like i i don't understand it at all and and for little big planet 3 i think it's maybe worse because it's like it's even older right like who's buying little big planet 3 the fact that little big planet 3 now there, there were like, um, was a database issues. There was something with the online, right? Because when we talked about it, actually, maybe even on this channel, uh, in terms of like the hub where you could play all of the levels of these little big planet games, it was just kind of broken and they, they aren't putting in the time and effort to bring it back, right? So a huge part of little big planet actually is lost to time already, which does suck. Maybe that has something to do with it. That, that's honestly one of the only things I can think of because otherwise it's an old game. And it's a game that, again, if people are already going to buy it or we're going to buy it, they already did. You know what I mean? So why did you take it down? In the same way as Forbidden West, where it's like, you own these games. So, you know, because I, I meant Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights 
expiring on both in the same month, it had to have been a contract. And, I mean, all of these games are contracts. But when it's your own game, I imagine, I mean, is there an actual contract? I don't know. But, like, you could kind of just have it there indefinitely, couldn't you? Um, I guess that's the problem. Indefinitely doesn't mean forever. You could take it down whenever you feel like it. So I'm not a fan of that just for the simple fact that it's PlayStations. You know what I mean? What's going to happen if, I mean, just pick a game, whether it's a PlayStation game that's already on or say, say you add Spider-Man 2 one day or God of War Ragnarok one day and you have it on there for a year or two and you just take it down. It's, well, don't even put it up at that point. And that's, I guess, my opinion on that situation. So just wanted to kind of make a video on it. Let me know what you guys think about losing Little Big Planet, you know, Gotham Knights. I think PS Plus is losing more impactful games, uh, just in my opinion. But again, Gotham Knights kind of get shared. Walking Dead is big. It's just, I guess it's more impactful games to me that PS Plus is losing. However, I will say, you know, when you have big months that they're losing a lot of these games, you also get big months where you gain a lot of these games. And even on PS Plus, literally today is the Plucky Squire. I'm really excited. I'm going to be playing that game actually later tonight or tomorrow. So, you know, you get some good stuff on these. And, you know, again, that's the, the pro con. I, I think these services are actually really good. I know they're very expensive, but I actually think they're worth it depending on like what kind of gamer you are. But this is the negative of it, that just when they feel like it, you, they just remove it and it's gone and you, you don't own it, things like that. Um, that's that's something that I guess you just have to live with, with this digital age and with the subscription service age. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.